everybody. Welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And every Tuesday night, I come on and bring you a sketch challenge. So I hope there'll be some people joining me. Um, and while I wait to see who's going to join, uh, let me just tell you that you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. Or if you uh, are coming in through YouTube uh, to watch, please take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when I go live. I haven't found a way to do notifications on YouTube yet. And so um, the only way I know to actually get notified of somebody going live is to actually be subscribed to their YouTube channel. All right. The other thing I'll remind you of is that I use an application called StreamYard um, so that I can, I can go live on multiple uh, platforms. And in order for me to see who's commenting, um, without going to my Facebook group, which is why I'm kind of looking down to make sure, one, that I'm live on Facebook, and two, that I can actually um, see comments. I only see Facebook user if you come in through Facebook and leave a comment and you haven't given permission. So uh, make sure that you uh, go out to streamyard.com slash Facebook and uh, give permission to Facebook so that I can actually see who's commenting. All right, I'm just going to, there we go. Hey, Dawn, welcome. All right. Hey, Joey Olinette, everybody's coming on. Good. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my desktop and I'll show you the sketch that we're going to be using. It looks kind of plain, but I'm going to show you some ways to um, kind of brighten it up a little bit. So you've got a card base that is five and a half by eight and a half or four and a quarter by 11. I'm using four and a quarter by 11. Then layer number one, which is this orange layer, is four inches by five and a quarter. I mean, your standard first layer. Layer number two, which is the white piece here, is two and a half by three and seven eighths. And then layer three, which is this piece here, is two inches by three and seven eighths. And then you've got a little piece down here that is showing um, from that first layer. So it kind of looks plain, but there's lots of ways that you can... Um, kind of switch it up and um, I'll show you that. I'll talk about that as we go through. All right, let me show you what I'm going to use. I have not played. Oh, I'm just going to take this out. I have not played with the Island Vibes uh, stamp set. This is one of the celebration stamp sets. And I really love these leaves. So I'm going to use these leaves. And then the other stamp set that I really loving is this one that's full of sentiments. It's called Celebrating You, and there are 16 different sentiments. So I'm going to use the one that says, the best is yet to come. So those are the two stamp sets I'm using. And then the other thing that I'm going to use, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with these, are the basic border dies. These are a great set of dies that allow you to create all sorts of different borders. So you can create borders, this rounded one or this one that looks like kind of the point of an envelope. This one looks like um, clouds. And then another kind of envelope with a square edge. I um, don't know what that's called. Chevron and then more of a fancy one. I don't know what that's called. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to use this on the bottom um, to just fancy it up a little bit. And I think I'm going to use this one that looks like clouds. So the first thing I've got is I've got a piece of uh, thick, uh, very vanilla cardstock. I don't use very vanilla all that often, but I decided that it seemed right. I'm using Mossy Meadow and I like the look of Mossy Mes Meadow and, uh, and very vanilla together. So I've scored my cardstock that's four and a quarter by 11 and I have scored it at five and a half. And as always, this is the side I score on. I always tell you to fold into the mountain, which is the raised line. So just turn that over and then score and give it a good crease with your bone folder. All right, now I've got a piece of mossy meadow. This is four inches by five and a quarter. And what I'm gonna do is just cut the bottom off of this using this die. Now I really wanna just cut the bottom off of it because um, I don't have much to play with. So let me bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I'm missing a platform, there it is. 
Right. So I'm going to put it this way just because it's easier for me to see to get it lined up. And now what I love about these is they're stitched. So I'm just going to take and kind of go right at the very bottom and then gently put that down the platform and run it through. So I'm kind of cutting on and off a little bit. It's not um, perfectly aligned with the bottom, but it's just really to provide a little bit of detail along the bottom. It's out of the way. And now when I take my die off, I get this stitched edged that just gives me just a little bit of detail along the bottom. Just another way to uh, kind of make it a little bit more special along the bottom. So this is now going to, I could have done a better job, but I kind of went off there, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to take my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now, I think I mentioned on my class last night that this was, the glue was not available, um, but it actually is available. I don't know when I looked, it was uh, it was not orderable and now it is. So if you've been uh, waiting for the liquid glue to be able to order it, it is available, which was good news. So I'm getting low. All right, so this is gonna go down on the bottom. So I've got two pieces. I've got a piece of uh, very vanilla, and this is the piece that is cut two and a half by three and seven eighths. I'm going to do some stamping on it. And then I've got a piece of designer series paper. This is the designer series paper from the flowering fields. So all the tulips, and it's kind of hard to see. That would be really pretty too. But I'm going to use this one because I'm going to stamp with the, the green, the green um, kind of palm fronds. So it's going to go like that. So let's just take and stamp with my stamp. I haven't put even a label on this one yet. Okay, so let's take that off. First time I've used this stamp. Peel that off and then let's put the label on it. So. A little trick when you're putting labels on these, these are the cling foam stamps and so the cling foam, so you kind of want to get it right. So what I do is I peel the backing off of my stamp. And I used to, before the cling mount, I would only peel one side off and then I would gently peel the other side off. But now with cling mount, I just find it easier to peel the whole thing off and then gently, because once you get this down, gently put one side down and then the other. So put your stamp onto the cling side of it, pat it down, and then peel it off. And I find I get a much better application um, of, my, of my stamp. Hello, Nancy. Norma, hello. All right, so I'm going to take this. And I've got moss, Mossy Meadow. We were just talking about Mossy Meadow. Uh, we were talking about the in colors that are retiring, and Mossy Meadow was an in color way back when, so you never know what which ones of the in colors might come back. All right, I'm just going to just check to see. That's pretty straight. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment here in the top right-hand corner like that, and then I'm going to take and stamp this, these palm fronds. I kind of thought this would be a great retirement card because it's the best is yet to come. And this makes you feel like you're somewhere tropical. Yeah. Isn't that pretty stamp? I just really love it. Okay, so this is going to go on like this. And that's going to go on like that. Let's, let's leave that for now. Um, okay, so I've got that. And then the other thing that I want to use is, I'm debating. Oh, I've got enough. I don't have any mossy meadow, um, but I have some of this. So we'll use some of that around. Now what I'm going to do, I should have put this, I'm going to butt these two up against each other. And then I'm going to apply some stamp and seal just across the 
the edge like that and I hope that it will just kind of hold it together so that I can put my this lace trim kind of down over top I want to hold hide the there we go hide the seam get it straight along there and now I can adhere it to the back so Stampin' Steel is good for just kind of holding especially if you've butted them up against each other it will just kind of hold it in place long enough for you to be able to uh, get your ribbon in place so then we'll just wrap that I should have put the put the ribbon around my or I should have not adhered my mossy metal piece down all right so now we're going to take and use I'm going to use stamp and seal. I like to use stamp and seal when I've got ribbon wrapped around the back, um, just because I find it holds it a little better. And then we'll just, it's going to have just a, a peekaboo of the mossy meadow. Get it in place like that. There we go. That's quite a pretty card, I have to say. <laughs> Sometimes I never know how they're going to turn out. All right, and so now let's put some palm fronds on the inside of it as well. Yes, this ribbon is the um, scalloped lace trim. Uh, it is definitely very vanilla. Um, it's three eighths of an inch wide, so it's definitely it's really pretty. So I'm just going to stamp this, and then I'm going to stamp this along the bottom like that, just because I really like this palm fronds feels definitely, well, the name of the stamp set is Island Vibes, so it definitely has that tropical feel. Now, I grabbed some, some embellishments because I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. I have the faux sea glass, which would definitely have a really kind of tropical feel. I have the iridescent rhinestones, We'll pick up any color and then I have the polished dots. I don't think polished dots, but let's see what the iridescent rhinestones look like. Compared to these, oh, I think those are going to get lost. So let's use the iridescent rhinestones. Sometimes you just kind of have to audition your embellishments in your ribbon. What other ways can you create a border if you don't have those border dies? Um, you could take a punch if you had a punch and use it and just punch out um, little shapes along the way. You could do the same with a border if you don't have these border dies, but you could take a, let me just grab one if I can quickly see if I can find a, well, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm just kind of trying to think on my feet. So this is the daffodil dies. This is probably not a good one, but if you had a, a die, say take the butterfly, you could even take it and just lay it along and cut multiple times, but you could do a punch that way. So if you don't have, uh, if you don't have the border um, dies, you can absolutely use something else like a punch or like another die. Um, the other thing you could do here is if you didn't want to cut that out, you could do some stamping along the bottom just to give some detail. Um, so that's another thing that you don't have to use border, the border dies or even any cutting along the bottom. Just do some stamping along the bottom um, to give it some detail. I always, so sketches for me are just a guide. Oops, I'm I just put three here, but I, I need one of the bigger size. So it doesn't have to be exact. You can you can interpret it how you want. It really is kind of a guide for you to um, create some cards. So if you don't have border dies, uh, yeah, feel free to do something different. Don't even have to uh, do any cutting at all. Oops, that's, I need one of the little ones. There we go. I love these iridescent rhinestones. They pick up any of the colors. So whatever color you're using, they they will pick that up and just uh, give it a really nice uh, a nice look about it. All right, so that's my card. I really like this stamp. Um, I'm gonna have to use it more. 
Um, celebration is coming to an end at the end of February. So if you don't have this stamp and you uh, want the stamp, you can place a $60 order and you will get be able to order the stamp. And it, it has some, this, this pineapple is really cool um, as well. And then this potted plant. So it's some really pretty, this, this would make a really, really cool one. You could fussy cut that one out if you wanted to. All right, and so here's my sketch. Um, again, I did the borders, border dies along here, but you don't have to do that. You could just do some stamping or just leave it plain. Um, or if you wanted to, you can move it down a little bit so you don't have this gap at the bottom. So that's it's pretty close to, to my sketch tonight. Sometimes I kind of go off script and, uh, and uh, don't uh, necessarily do it exactly like my sketch. I, I'm a little bit more, uh, more abstract than my sketch, but tonight I'm pretty close. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you don't have this, um, you have until the 28th of February to place an order of $60 to be able to get uh, the Island Vibes stamp set. I will be back on Thursday night only in my Facebook group. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, check the link out underneath this video um, and request to join. I will be back on Thursday night with my mystery challenge that I do in my group. Um, and I will post the clues to the mystery challenge about nine o'clock on uh, Thursday morning so you can be prepared and have everything cut. Um, again, the link to my uh, group is will be underneath, is actually is underneath this. I put a whole bunch of links. I will be posting this sketch. Um, it goes live in about an hour, I think. So it will be posted on my group and my page uh, and I think Instagram so that you can find the sketch and play along. And if you are part of my group, don't forget to share your card because every month at the end of the month, I do a couple of draws and send uh, send someone or a couple of people who have shared their projects um, some happy mail. So, all right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great evening. Happy stamping. Bye.